Jordan's King Abdullah II and Queen Rania visited Spain on an official trip in 2021. The most unexpected aspect of the tour was the appearance of the youngest son, Prince Hashem, who accompanied them. This sparked rumors that there was a hidden agenda and possible connection between Prince Hashim and Princess Leonor, the heir to the Spanish throne. Get ready to explore the details of Prince Hashem's visit to Spain, the possible relationship between him and Princess Leonor, and the implications of this encounter. Prince Hashim was born on January 30, 2005, as the young brother of Crown Prince Hussein bin Abdullah. He is the son of King Abdullah II and Queen Rania of Jordan and he holds the position of second in line to the throne after his older brother and before his uncle, Prince Faisal. Prince Hashim's upbringing was similar to that of many royal children, with a focus on education and family values. He was homeschooled until the age of seven and then attended a private school in Amman. Growing up, Prince Hashim was known for his love for animals. He had a small zoo in the palace gardens where he kept a variety of animals, including horses, donkeys, and birds. He spent hours playing with his pets and would often be seen riding his horse or playing with his dogs. Prince Hashim was also an avid reader and would spend hours in the palace library learning about history, science, and culture. Prince Hashim's passion for animals and nature led him to become involved in philanthropy from a young age. He has been an advocate for animal rights and he has worked with various organizations to promote animal welfare and conservation. In 2016, Prince Hashim became the youngest member of the World Wildlife Fund and has since been actively involved in their conservation efforts. Prince Hashim has also been involved in various charitable initiatives in Jordan. In 2019, he visited a refugee camp in Jordan and spent time with the children there, playing games and distributing gifts. He has also been involved in initiatives to promote education and healthcare in Jordan and has worked with various organizations to provide aid to those in need. Prince Hashim has always been interested in sports and has been involved in various activities from a young age. He is an accomplished equestrian and has won several awards for horse riding. Prince Hashim has also been involved in football and swimming and has represented his school in various competitions. In addition to these sports, Prince Hashim is also interested in martial arts and has been practicing jiu-jitsu since the age of five. He has won several medals in jiu-jitsu competitions and is known to be a skilled practitioner. Prince Hashim's interest in sports has not only helped him develop physically, but has also taught him valuable life skills such as discipline, perseverance, and teamwork. Hashim recently graduated from the Royal Academy, which is equivalent to a bachelor's degree in Spain. He is 18 years old, reserved, and lacking an active social media presence. He is not known to have a girlfriend, and he possesses considerable wealth. The secret tour to Spain, the Spanish media reported that Prince Hashim's presence alongside King Abdullah II and Queen Rania in Spain was not a mere coincidence. According to a Spanish news website which specializes in covering news related to royal families, Prince Hashim's visit held significant meaning. The website suggests that Prince Hashim recently became Queen Rania's favorite following his graduation from the Royal Academy a few weeks ago. Despite a recent marriage of the Jordanian Crown Prince Hussein to the Saudi Arabian architect Rajwa Al Saif, Prince Hashim's presence in Madrid is noteworthy. The website notes that it is customary for the heir to the throne to undertake official visits to strengthen the relationships that their parents have cherished. However, in this case, Prince Hashim accompanied his parents on an official visit to Spain, which raises eyebrows and sparked rumors. The possible connection with Princess Leonor. Princess Leonor is the eldest daughter of King Philip VI of Spain, and she is the older sister of her only sibling, Princess Sophia. She was born on October 31, 2005, and is fluent in both Spanish and English. She's often referred to as the new Queen of Hearts by the Spanish people, and many speculate that she could be the future Queen of Spain and succeed her father in the Spanish throne. Princess Leonor's family has a rich history, with her grandfather being King Juan Carlos I, who played a vital role in the transition to democracy in Spain. Her father, King Felipe VI, succeeded his father in 2014, and since then he has been working hard to monetize the Spanish monarchy and bring it closer to the people. Leonor's upbringing was a delicate balance between her royal duties and her personal life. Despite being in the public eye from a young age, her parents made sure that she had a normal childhood away from the constant attention. They enrolled her in a private school in Madrid, where she was able to develop her exceptional intelligence and curiosity, excelling in her studies. Her parents' efforts to provide her with a well-rounded education and a sense of normalcy have undoubtedly contributed to her success and popularity among the Spanish people. Despite being a child, Princess Leonor has made several public appearances alongside her parents. 
In 2015, she attended the Order of the Golden Fleece Ceremony, which is one of the most important ceremonies in the Spanish monarchy. In 2018, she made her first official speech at the Princess of Asturias Award Ceremony, where she spoke about the importance of education. She's also attended several events with her family, where she has shown her grace and poise, winning the hearts of the Spanish people. As the heir presumptive to the Spanish throne, Princess Leonor's future role is vital to the Spanish monarchy. Her father, King Felipe VI, has been working hard to monetize the monarchy and bring it closer to the people. Princess Leonor will have to continue this work and ensure that the monarchy remains relevant in the 21st century. Her education and her upbringing have prepared her well for this role, and she's expected to take on more responsibilities in the coming years. Prince Hashim share similarities with Princess Leonor as they are both 18 years old, reserved individuals lacking an active social media presence, and they both possess considerable wealth. The news website highlights that despite the recent marriage of the Jordanian Crown Prince Hussein to the Saudi Arabian architect Rajwa Al Saif, Prince Hashim's presence in Madrid is noteworthy. It raises the question of whether Queen Raina, knowing Princess Leonor and Infanta Sofia's presence in Madrid, deliberately orchestrated this encounter. Could there have been a conspiracy between Queen Raina and Queen Leticia to facilitate this meeting? The website confirms the fact that Queen Rania and Queen Leticia have a lot of collusion, and it cannot be ruled out that both of them believe it was a good idea to introduce their children. Who could potentially marry in the future? The implications of the encounter if there is a potential relationship between Prince Hashim and Princess Lionel, it could have significant implications for both Jordan and Spain. The marriage of Prince Hashim and Princess Leonor would strengthen the relationship between the two countries and create new diplomatic ties. It would also be a significant event for the Jordanian royal family, as it would be the first time in history that the Jordanian prince would marry a European princess. However, it is important to note that this is all speculation, and there's no concrete evidence to support the claims of a potential relationship between Prince Hashim and Princess Leonor. It is also worth noting that Prince Hashim's visit to Madrid was informal with the purpose primarily of meeting the Spanish royal family, especially Princess Leonor and Infanta Sofia. To sum up, Prince Hashim's visit to Spain with his parents, King Abdullah II and Queen Rania, it sparked rumors of a possible connection with Princess Leonor, the heir to the Spanish throne. While there is no concrete evidence to support these claims, the similarities between Prince Hashim and Princess Leonor have led to speculation. If there is a potential relationship between them, it could have significant implications for both Jordan and Spain. However, it is important to approach these rumors with caution and not to jump to conclusions without concrete evidence.